Hi guys in this video I'll share my asset her course of video settings and I'll also provide you all the things you need to achieve it. This includes content manager CSP 1.77 preview and pure 0.58. Now that I have your attention thanks to the preview version I just wanna say sorry for using TTS for the voice. Another disclaimer my settings target a 60 FPS V-Synced experience with the highest possible level of detail on graphics card like the GTX 16. 50 10 60 and rx 570 so don't expect competitive and ultra high frame rate settings i personally use a gtx 1650 ti overclocked to 2085 megahertz an i5 10 300h and 16 gb of 2666 megahertz ram if you have a 1060 or rx 570 equivalent graphics card you might be able to game at higher resolutions Ok now let's get started. I left a document with all the links in the description. First of all you'll need to install Content Manager it's fairly easy and it's all explained. Then you'll need to install CSP by drag and dropping the file in the menu of Content Manager. For the installation of Sol and Pure I left a video in the description that explains it 10 times better than me. At this point you just need to click on the links in the description for my CSP and video settings. Once you're done just check that the post processing filter in the video settings is pure and that the weather script in custom shade patch weather FX is also set to pure and not sol. Now the final step is to open the pure app in game and select the low preset. If it doesn't open click on the post processing filter app change pp filter and try to reopen it. Once you select the low preset just put the pure PP filter back. Now I'll explain to you how all the different video settings that I linked in the description work and I'll also give you another tip to improve performance. The default setting is called 60fps and it runs at 900p since the temporal anti-aliasing improves image quality a lot and it's recommended for modded track and it's fine also online as long as you don't use both headlights and rain at the same time. 60 FPS light should be used on big open world tracks like Shatogo. It runs at 720p with the same settings as the default one but with reflection at 30 FPS and as you can see here on Shatogo online with 22 players run at anywhere between 40 and 60 FPS depending on the camera you select. To improve performance by as much as 20% I recommend you use the bonnet cam since it's also more practical than the first person one. On a 1060 or RX 570 you should be able to achieve 60 FPS all of the time. For the 1650 if you don't have a variable refresh rate display or you hate duplicate frames you can turn off V-Sync. The last setting is called 60 FPS Extra and it runs at 1080p it's designed for old cool nose track and it can achieve 60 FPS regularly only in time trial with the hood cam on the GTX 1650 Ti so it's not advised for GTX 1650 users. Well guys this is everything and I hope this video was useful, if it was please like and subscribe it would help me a lot. The baseline for my settings comes from the SimTribe settings so if you have at least an RTX 2060 like him I recommend you watch his video instead.